Alright, so today we're getting into some biscotti. You guys know biscotti, that super hard, crunchy Italian cookie, perfect for dipping in a cappuccino, coffee, whatever. I love doing it as a gift. Right now, we're doing it as a gift for some friends who are having a housewarming party. So we're actually going to pair that with something else I'm going to show you a little bit later, but for now we're going to get into the biscotti. Over here in our mixer we have a half a stick of butter and three quarter cup of sugar. And we're just going to beat it until it gets nice and light and fluffy. Butter and sugar all nice and cream together. And we're just going to add our eggs one at a time. We have three eggs total. And the thing with traditional biscotti is actually it doesn't contain butter. There's only eggs in it, like that's the only thing that's wet that actually makes it bind together. And the reason for that was that it made it last longer. Now we're just going to do our extracts. So we're going to do one teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're going to do a half a teaspoon of almonds. I love almond extract. You could definitely omit this if you don't like the flavor because it is pretty strong. But we're making almond biscotti. So now we have our dry ingredients. All this is is two cups regular all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a nice generous pinch of salt. And we're just going to gradually add this and mix it a little bit each time until it forms a dough. So just kind of scrape the edge of the bowl and make sure that it's all incorporated and mixed. Now we're just going to add the fun part. So we're doing double chocolate almond biscotti. And what makes it double chocolate is that it's got chocolate chips in there. So I did a half a cup of chocolate chips. And if you're just doing chocolate chip biscotti, then I would say you can increase that to like three quarter cup, even a cup. But since we're going to do the double, which means we're going to be dipping it into melted chocolate, I only used a half a cup. And then this right here is one cup of sliver blanched almonds. So in it goes. Now tell me this does not look like a good time. We're gonna take this and divide it in half, roughly. All right, so we've got two baking sheets here. You could either butter them, then dust with flour, shake the excess off, or you can do what I did. I like to use parchment paper, but I usually spray it with Pam first, and then put the parchment paper, just so that the parchment paper is not sliding all over the place. Either way, just so that it won't stick. That's it. I mean, really, this is the basic recipe, and how easy is this? Everybody's like, biscotti, how, how the hell do you make biscotti? But it's so easy to do. You're going to split the dough, and then you're just going to kind of work it into two long, two-inch wide logs. So it's sticky, but that's totally okay. Just kind of work it into the lock. So now these are going to go into the oven at 375 degrees for about a half an hour. And then we're actually going to bake them again after that. And that's why they're called biscotti. Biscotti actually means, it's actually I think a Latin term originally, and it means twice baked. And that's what makes them so super crunchy and it actually dries them out a lot more, so that's what made them last so long. And that's why, how they became popular. Okay, loaves are a nice, beautiful golden brown. I actually let them sit here for a few minutes just so that they're cool enough to handle, and then turn the oven down to 250. So now we're going into round two of the double bake. What we're gonna do is just slice these, about a half an inch, serrated knife, it smells amazing in here. We've got all of our slices done, back into the oven they go, about 15 to 20 minutes total and then halfway through we're going to turn the slices over. So cookies are out of the oven and now this is the really good part. I'm going to melt this chocolate. It's about 8 ounces of chocolate. You could use bittersweet or semi-sweet, good quality stuff. 
and uh, a couple tablespoons of butter. And I'm just gonna temper it in the microwave. So you just put it in there and in 30 second intervals, you kind of just put it in for 30 seconds, take it out, give it a stir, and eventually just keep doing that until it's totally melted. So for me, for three different times at 30 seconds, got this chocolate exactly where it needs to be. And if it's not, if it's just almost there, honestly, don't put it back in because you don't want the chocolate to seize up. Just take it out and keep stirring it and those last little bits will kind of just melt their way in. Let's bring over our biscotti. What we're gonna do is just dip one end right into the chocolate. And if you want to kind of just use your spoon and kind of just coat it. And now for the magic. This is a really good flair de sel flaky sea salt. And you guys know right now the salty and sweet thing is like really in. So I think this is going to be a big hit. So we're all dipped in the chocolate. Again, that takes a little bit more time. So if you're ever in a time crunch, don't do the dipping in the chocolate part, you know? I'm just gonna set these up in the fridge. They'll definitely set up, they'll just take a little bit longer if you leave them at room temperature. And in the meantime, we're gonna get to the other part of this equation. So earlier I was telling you about how this was gonna be a gift for somebody, right? Our friends are having a housewarming party. So I thought, what better way to celebrate than to bring them a bottle of our favorite liquor, which is Cafe Patron. If you've never had this before, well, I'm sorry that I'm giving it to you now because you're probably going to go try it and you're probably going to be addicted to it like we all are. It's really good. It's not like you're drinking tequila. It's like an after dinner drink. So it's really sweet. It's delicious. Dangerously easy to drink. Be warned. This is just a little jar that I picked up at Home Goods. Same with the basket. You never know what you're going to find in Home Goods, right? So you just kind of go in and you figure, let me get something that can hold the biscotti. Let me get something that can hold both the alcohol with the jar, right? So that's kind of what the mentality was there. And then I figured, I don't want these to be kind of like floating around. By the way, I'm not a crafty person, so this is like as crafty as it gets. And uh, I don't know, I'm sure there are like better ways to do things, but for me, this seems to be a good way. So I was kind of playing with it and I was thinking like, okay, let's take some tissue paper and just kind of set it around and tuck it. And I like this because it has like the two different shades of brown, so I thought it would be pretty. So it looks a little bit nicer, right, than if you were to just hand them a basket with two things in it. So make sure that's kind of facing in front. If you wanted to pick up other items, like I saw this little book that would have been really cute. It was a book all about coffee drinks. So if you wanted to like really, you know, add some glasses, maybe like little coffee, a little espresso mugs would have been really cute. I looked for that and I couldn't really find it, so. All right, so what do you think? All the tissue paper is in. Looks a little bit nicer than just a couple of things thrown into a box, right? And then I just got some ribbon. Now I have one batch of the biscotti that's ready to go into the jar, nice and hard in the refrigerator. So as you can see, the chocolate just like hardens right on there. So that's nice. And I'm just gonna drop them in. It's like a cookie jar, right? Who would not be thrilled to have this? All right, let me just sample one bite just so that you guys can see how delicious these taste. I have a few over here that are kind of like, you know, the ugly ones. We'll do those for sampling. Mmm. Definitely not too crunchy. Some biscotti you bite into it, you feel like your teeth just crack, but that's not the case here. It's definitely soft enough, but still crunchy at the same time. Good stuff. So I have to go get ready for the party now. But I hope you enjoyed this biscotti, and I hope next time you have some sort of event, house ring party, whatever the case is, you can impress your friends with biscotti too. See you next time.